Hi, in today's video we're looking at the Milwaukee M12 Bluetooth DAB radio. Now, I purchased this on eBay, spares or repair, um, not, not sure what the fault is. It does switch on, it does run for a while, but then the sound uh, goes distorted. It, it's like the uh, you only get the sort of treble through it and the bass doesn't actually work after, after a while of being on. And also, uh, when you've got the battery in, if, uh, you plug a charger in, it starts flashing saying the battery's broken. But when I put the same battery in my other charger, my normal charger, it says the battery's fully charged. So, so I think it's got a couple of issues potentially. So... Right, we'll just, uh, so that's it powered on there. And we don't get very good uh, radio reception. In this room anyway. But anyway, we'll take it apart. We'll uh, see if we can figure out what's going on with it and hopefully fix it. I've got a NW here, which I assume means not working. So I'm going to start by removing these uh, screws here. Alright, that's the bottom part off. It's the top part off. So, this looks like obviously the radio part of the of the unit. That's probably the amplifier there, and the rest of it down here looks like uh, power supply and battery charging module. I would suggest. Right, so backup battery gets plugged in here. That's the antenna. Looks like power supply. And this one might just be control signals or such from the uh, battery charger. Yeah, it's actually got written on here. Yeah. Um, looks like power on, LED red, LED green, 5 volts. RXTX and it looks like battery enable possibly and either one is just VCC ground DC in and AC detect by the look of it 
So. Yeah, it says here, charger PCB, so this is the uh, the battery charger for the unit. I wonder how easy it is for that to come out. Looks like the board's caught on the little locating pin down here. There we go. We've got a little, a little can here with uh, some components underneath. I don't know whether that might be a, um, a boost converter or something. Or a book converter at lower the voltage possibly. Right, I'm just going to uh, pause the video, have a quick look over this circuit board, see if I can see anything obvious, and uh, then we'll take it from there. One eternity later. So it's been about three months since I started recording this video, and I've uh, been having a look at this charging circuit just occasionally, just when I've got time or when I've been bored. Um, anyway, <clears throat> on the back of the unit it says 12 volt DC, and it's also got a USB sign. So we've got a USB uh, output here, and that's a 12 volt input. So I thought, well, okay, we'll put 12 volts into it, and we we'll get that. So I thought, well, there must be a fault somewhere. I've ch checked just about every component on this uh, circuit board, and I've been tracing it through and whatever, and still haven't gotten to the bottom of it. So today I thought, I, I could really do with a schematic, I thought I wonder if there's anything on the FCC website because uh, if you tend it, it, you tend to find that some things like radios and that and stuff uh, on the FCC website you tend to get schematics occasionally, or occasionally you get schematics. So I thought, well, I need the uh, the FCC ID number of this radio, but unfortunately the, uh, the serial number of this has been removed and there's no information on the bottom there. That's just stop people claiming on the warranty because these are sort of like warranty returns. Now, I pulled up the manual because I thought, I wonder if it's got the uh, FCC manu uh, ID in the manual. And what I noticed in the manual was it had the specifications for the charger. And it says on the char on the specification, I'll just pull that up just there now so you can have a look. And if you notice, it says 14 volts. I thought, well, hang on. It says on the back 12 volts. I don't know if you can see that, 12 volt DC. But the charger's supposed to be 14 volts. I thought, right, okay, we'll fire up the bench power supply. So I've got the bench power supply set to 14 volts, so I'll just plug it in. And you notice the lights aren't flashing now. So I'll now put a battery in. And there we have it, it's charging. So I've spent quite a considerable amount of time trying to find a fault that actually didn't exist. So if I unplug the 14 volt supply now, you can see the light's gone off, and I'll now plug in a 12 volt supply, like it says on the back, 12 volt DC, and there we have it. So if anybody else gets one of these without the charger, 
you need 14 volts, not 12, like it says on the back. And we'll just plug the uh, 14 volts back in once it actually uh, stops flashing. Actually, I don't think it uh, doesn't seem to want it, so I'll just pull the battery back out. I'll put the 14 volts in. And plug the battery back in. And as you can see, it's charging. Right, I'll just switch the bench power supply off. Disconnect it and take the battery back out. Because the other problem with this was the, uh, the tinny sound. So, I'll just unplug that. <coughs> now, I th personally think it's a speaker. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to disconnect these wires here. We'll whip the speaker out. One wire on the capacitor here to come on. Nice. <coughs> Let's take the speaker out. And we'll just measure it with a test meter. And according to this, it should be six ohms. So. Yeah, that doesn't look quite right, does it? 88 ohms? 89 ohms? Oh, nothing on them ones, so yeah. So, yeah, that's not right. <coughs> now, I have tried to source one of these speakers, um, and I did find one on an obscure Chinese website. But I wasn't I don't yeah, I think there was something like a, a minimum order and you know it's just uh it was just a bit of a nightmare trying to get one. So what I managed to get was a replacement car speaker which is roughly the same size. Um I think that one's actually a hundred and four millimeter, this one's a hundred. Now it did have some extra tabs on the end which I've broken off already. And what my plan is, is to try and, let's get this broken one out of the way. What my plan is, is to try and fit this one in the centre here, like so. And then use some uh, small washers to sort of hold it into place. Now, I'm not sure whether that's going to work or not, whether those washers are actually too big, or whether I might uh, need some different ones. By the look of it, I think I'm going to need some slightly smaller ones. Alright, okay then, I shall be back in a moment with some smaller washers. A few moments later. Well, I had a search around and I couldn't find any uh, smaller washers. So what I did was, I just got the uh, the bigger ones and I just give them a bit of a uh, a bit of a flappy disc off with the uh, angle grinder and there we go. That seems to have solved that problem. I'll solder the wires on. Right, so that's the uh, the ground wires on. Now the positive went to the speaker, but it also goes through this capacitor, which it's using as a filter to filter out the um, the base frequencies before it sends it to the tweeter. Because you don't want a load of base going to the tweeter, because uh, it just wouldn't uh, wouldn't be good. Let's see if we can get that wire through there like that. And we'll just tag that on. Nice. And then this is the output from the amplifier, which goes straight to the bass speaker. Now we've got the capacitor in series there. And then that red wire comes off the other side of the capacitor and goes to the tweeter. Right then. We shall put it together and we'll see if it works. Right, it's been a while since uh, I took this apart. So not... Let's see how well it goes back together. Right, that must 
be the backup wire goes there. For the backup memory, and then we've got another wire here for the antenna. Right. Anyway, I think I'll just skip forward on the uh, reassembly until uh, we've got it all back together. Right, so it's all back together. We'll just check that uh, the charging still works. supply on it does help yep so the lights on so it's charging the battery right I think we'll take it uh, up the driveway where I can get signal and uh, we'll check it all works all right so at the top of the driveway it's the only way only place I can really get signal so I've got it tuned into DAB we'll just switch it on there Uh, we'll change it to Bluetooth. I just might have to put the phone down a sec, two ticks. We've got it in Bluetooth mode now. And we'll see if that works. Yeah, so that works as well. Um, normal FM so yeah all seems to work Got some nice background image there of the, the horses and that right then so if you enjoyed this video please give it the thumbs up if you want to see more like it please subscribe any comments or questions please leave them down below in the comment section and as always have a great day and thanks for watching